Good morning and welcome back. It is Tuesday, November 24, 2020, and today we are going to be talking about the election results for the 2020 election races here in the city of Los Banos as they pertain to the city of Los Banos. We're going to be talking about a District 1 um, a race as well as the Los Banos Unified School District races. Uh, we're going to be discussing the mayor's race. But first, we just want to remind everybody that you can support the work that we do here at Los Banos Today on our Facebook page. At the top of the page, click on Become a Supporter, and this will help us keep going throughout the year uh, because we do not receive any type of funding here uh, on Los Banos Today to be able to bring you this type of news. So if you enjoy our content and you want to support us, please do so again on our Facebook page at the top click on become a supporter. Now we do have a new VIP group where we go out into the community and we film live video things going on that nobody else sees. This is exclusive footage that you won't see anywhere else but on the Lost Banners Today VIP Facebook page. Join that page, become a supporter to receive exclusive content. Now on to the results. Today the city of Los Banos has a new mayor as well as a new council member serving District 1. But that's not all. We're going to talk about the election results as they pertain to the Los Banos Unified School District, more specifically District 2 and District 6. Today we're going to start with District 4. The incumbent is Deborah Lewis. Miss Lewis won her district by a landslide with over 2,623 votes compared to the write-in uh, who only had 98 votes. Miss Lewis has held her office since 2016. Welcome back, Miss Lewis. And now on to District 1. The incumbent, Deronica Johnson Santos, did not run this year. Miss Santos has held her office since 2016 as well. This year, the clear winner, for District 1 was Kenneth Lambert, beating out Dave Newman. Mr. Lambert ran against Mr. Newman. Uh, Mr. Lambert did receive 1,816 votes to Mr. Newman's 1,293, uh, making it a very close race indeed. Lost Banners today is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Go see Joe for all your home, auto, and life insurance needs. Give Joe a call today for a free quote. That's right, 209-826-4963. 209-826-4963. We're also brought to you today by La Bodega Bay Furniture. Check out their new website and order your furniture online at labodegabayfurniture.com. Welcome back, everybody. And now on to the election results for the Los Banos Unified School District. District 2 was won by a landslide this year with Jessica Moran winning and beating out Mr. Luis Castro. Ms. Moran received over 1,263 of the votes uh, to Mr. Castro's 607. Let's move on to District 6. District, uh, District 6 was a very close race this year between Margaret Benton, Mark Duffy, and Alex Vorkin. Miss Benton pulled off a win this year with 1,072 votes, beating out Mr. Duffy, who received 1,067 votes, and Mr. Vorkin, who received 317 votes. And now on to the mayor's race. This year, the mayor of the city of Los Banos has decided to retire, uh, Mike Vialto. Mike is stepping down to spend more time with his family, and this opens up the door for a new mayor for the city of Los Banos. This year, the mayor's race is between a teacher and a city council member, Tom Faria, and a business owner and ex-police officer, Paul Yanez. A very close race it was. 
Mr. Faria pulled off the win this year, beating out Mr. Yanez. Mr. Faria brought in over 6,794 votes to Mr. Yanez's 6,762 votes making Tom Faria the new mayor of the city of Los Banas. Los Banas today would like to welcome Mr. Faria as our new mayor, and we look forward to the great things that you have in store for us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here on the Los Banas Today Show. We want to congratulate all of the contestants and all of the winners and say thank you, be safe, and make it a great day. Good news.